Hello, my name is Jason South. I am the instructor for your speech class, and I'm going to give you a few helpful hints and tips on how to present a proper video for your speeches. The first thing is, notice the distance that I have established between the camera and myself so that you can see most of my entire body. One of the things that I evaluate on every single time in your speeches is the use of gestures. Always make sure that I can see your arms move, because if I can't see your arms, I cannot evaluate your gestures. A lot of people make the mistake of positioning their camera right in front of them so that all that I can see is just their face. While it is good to be able to get good facial expressions this way, it is not a good way to be able to see if you are being able to use your entire body to present your speech. Nonverbal communication is just as important, if not more important, than what you say. So we have to make sure that you are always far enough back so that I can see your entire body. Obviously, you cannot see my feet here, but I can tell if someone is moving side to side. I don't have to see what your feet are doing because your feet are not that expressive. So, this is your first tip. Make sure your camera is set up far enough away so that you can have a full view of your, of your body. Second thing, make sure the background behind you is free and clear of any distracting elements. Notice in the background here, it's just a solid black, a dark blue wall. There are a few things here and there in the room, but it is a large open space so that I can move freely in it. Try to find a space like this for your speeches so that you can have plenty of room, and if you need to do a demonstration, have your elements set up and ready to go during your demonstration. Another element you need to make sure that you are aware of when preparing your speech is the lighting in the room. Make sure that your face is well lit. If you need to turn so that you have better lighting on your face and on your body, please do so. If you end up doing a speech where the light is behind you, it will look something like this. There'll be too many shadows on your face. The lighting will create distance behind you that will mess up the way that we are able to see the speech. So make sure that you have the lighting properly adjusted so that we can see you. Next, along with proper lighting and along with your background behind you, make sure that it is free of clutter. In the, a picture like this, you would be so distracted watching the speech because there are so many elements behind me. In addition to that, what I'm doing now is not something you should try to do. Do not turn, do not move, try to keep your camera still the entire time. Do not give a speech while walking. It is very distracting and disorienting to the watcher. The next element that I want you to be aware of is the setting for your speech. Please, please, I beg you, do not use a setting like this for your speech. Believe it or not, I have had speeches given on video for this online class in the restroom. The students claimed that that was the only quiet place that they could go to film the speech. However, it is not an appropriate location. I hope these tips have been very helpful for you and have given you ways to think about how you should set up your speech when you're planning it. For this first speech, I know a lot of you probably are very nervous and you don't know exactly how to proceed in making sure that this speech works for you. So I'll give you a short example, not a full length speech here, but a, full, a short example that will help you in understanding what exactly it is that I'm looking for. My object that I would like to use to demonstrate and introduce myself is this Starbucks Frappuccino. There are lots of elements about this Frappuccino that represent me. First of all, it's sweet. I like to do nice things. I like to be funny. I like to have a good time with my friends. So this Frappuccino and the sweetness of it helps represent me. The second thing is it gives you energy. I am usually a very energetic person. I like to have fun all the time. I'm up late at night, up early in the morning, 
partly because I have five children that I'm taking care of, and they like to keep me busy all the time. So I like to have my Frappuccino to give me that energy that I always need. These are just two elements of this Frappuccino that introduce you to who I am. When you're presenting your speech, try to find three to five elements of your object that represent parts of you and let us know a little bit more about you. I hope this helps and I hope you have, are able to come up with, with a great idea for your first speech. And I hope this semester is a great one for you too. Thank you very much. I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at any point. Like I said, I'm up very late all the time and up early in the morning, so I answer emails quickly if at all possible. So if you have any questions, please contact me as soon as you can. Don't delay. Try to get these speeches in on time because I need to be in by midnight on Thursday so that I can get them graded and back to you by the end of the weekend. Thank you.